morning, Sound Squad, and welcome back to another VGC 2017 battle spot. Not battle spot. We're doing a live battle. Actually, best two out of three against our man Mort. I got him routine real quick. I forgot what I was doing, but we're gonna best two out of three match against our man Mort. We see his team. We see my team. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with a Metagross Lele, Marowak, and a uh probably an Araquanid as our as our team for our game one guy. So. <coughs> Oh, I'm dying, man. What's going on today? Without further ado, folks, game one is on the way at a best two out of three series. If you want to see more of this kind of uh, kind of battle in action, show some love to like button down below, and let's get this battle on the way. So, guys, like I said, let me know. Do you want to see more best two out of three? You want to see more battle spot? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? We're going to leave with our lady and poor guy. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, on the way right now. Nine tails of wreck we need up against my... Lele and the Porygon too. Now you're probably gonna go Aurora Sub, Aurora Veil Liquidate, Aurora Veil Leech Life. There's a lot of options for you right now that I don't like one bit. But no matter what, I need Chicken to go up. I'm gonna get that attack boost, exactly what I want. Um, Arachnid's probably gonna go last. So I'm just gonna go for a return and a Psychic into the Arachnid. I believe that's what I'm gonna do here. I think, yeah, I think we go with that. Just give it to the Iraq. Hopefully, there's a protect here. So, I think you could go like a Roar Veil and then whatever else. It's gonna go Nine Tails, Lele, Porygon, Iraq. Unless Iraq is like adamant and not brave and it has like more than 58 speed, possibly. I don't think it does. I know Hariyama gets 70 speed when it's adamant instead of brave. I mean, when it has 31 IVs as opposed to none. Sorry, guys. I stand corrected. That's my fault. I don't know what the, EV, the IVs are on the Iraq. I'm assuming it's really slow. Uh, you don't have a Chicken Marine team, as you can sell. You have a Hail team and whatnot. All right, Freeze Dry it is going to go off on the Lele. Going to eat that up pretty damn well. Psychic going to go off on that Araquanid in the terrain. And then return. Will it finish the job? I hope it does. Yes, it does. Araquanid is gone, baby. We do have speed. It's definitely a min speed Araquanid. Absolutely beautiful. Turn one, not bad at all. Freeze Dry doing jack to Lele. Porygon took bare minimal damage from Hail. And we're moving smoothly to turn two right after that turn one right there. Not bad at all. I'm quite happy with that result. Now, who comes in? Is it going to be the Slush Rush Sand, sl sand Slash? Nope, it's a Coco. Coco is going to get rid of my terrain here. I think I'm just going to go for a... Uh, right, oh, not recover. I'm sorry. Trick Room. Get that Trick Room up. And then turn Lele into the marrow. Whack, whack. Because we resist ice. We resist fairy. And we're immune to electricity. So, I'm going to suck up electricity attacks from Por uh, Coco if you want to go for Porygon 2. Now, barring like a sheer cold or a blizzard freeze, I think turn 2 is great. We bring in the Marowak. You can't do much about that. Even if you do predict that and switch out to Coco, I get a free trick room. And then Ninetales goes for a blizzard. Now, the only thing that could go bad for me is that this Ninetales goes for blizzard. And it freezes pouring on too. But I'm pretty sure I'm in good shape right now. Save my Lele's HP and get my train back up eventually. Bring in that Marowak. T Bolt is not happening today, my friends. Get that Spitzag boost. Not like it really matters, but we got that. The Veil is going up. See, that's good for my opponent. That was like your pretty much best option right there. So, yep, you get that. You get the Royal Veil up. My Trick Room is going up. And then from here, I have plus one attack. So. I kind of just double team the the Coco slot. Let's go return and boomerang. Something I want to do, yeah. I should like, man, I should not have sit there. And this is not a threat at all to any of these Pokemon, especially Porygon too. So just return and boomerang on that Coco. If you switch out into like Hariyama, Sand Slash, I think we should find up oh, who's coming in. Is it Arcanine? Arcanine comes in, gonna make me neg one, so he's definitely gonna live everything. Porygon goes to neutral attack. Maragor's a neg one. Aurora Veil is up. Unless Boring is like a double crit, there's no way I'm doing much as Arcanine. Plus, he probably has a berry, so we ain't doing well here. Nine Tails protects this turn three is great for us. Boring connects. Ain't gonna do much though. Aurora Veil, neg one. Honestly, for not stab damage, that's pretty damn good. Still did half, despite Aurora Veil and Intimidate. Return goes off as well. And then hell. So that was not bad, man. That was not bad at all. I think a Shadow Moon should take him down. And then we can start in the Ninetales. 
Return Nine Tails, and then Shadow Bow and the Arcanine. That should be enough. He's out of the berry range too. If he has Agwab, so you know what? That is great for us. His best player is probably good for protecting the Arcanine. Let the hell hit him. Yep. And then get his own berry back. Trigger his own berry. And then Nine Tails goes to like Blizzard or whatever. I don't even know what it could do. Our right, return goes off on that. On that, nine tails. It's gonna do not too bad with the Aurora Bell being up. Blizzard goes off. He's trying for hacks. This is his only hope right now. All right, ain't doing jack to anybody. Hail hits Marowak. Hail hits Porygon. Hail hits Arcanine. Does your berry get triggered? Are we on the last um, trick room? What do we got going on right now? We have one, two to the trick room. One of hail, two of the terrain. Beautiful. All right, and Aurora Bell has two turns as well, I believe. Return Nine Tails, Shadow Bone, the Arcanine, the Coco, so be it. But I don't think it will. And then next turn, I'll recover the Porygon too, because it's my last turn of Trick Room. I might as well go for uh, recover as we put a fight that protects there. So Shadow Bone goes off. Can that kill the Arcanine? Yes, it can. Fig Club Marak proving to be a worthy adversary for us right now. Return gonna go off on that Nine Tails. Two more attacks, and Nine Tails is gone. Or if Arbel goes away, then it's definitely gonna take some hefty damage oh that's not what I want to see that's not what I want to see all right the good thing is even though I'm still first my ability still works so Coco cannot use any of the attacks until that Marowak dies so what I'm gonna do here is obviously trick room is still for the one this turn we need poor gun a lot so we gotta recover here and then Marowak is gonna try to defrost with the flare blitz and other nine tails see if he can see if he flare blitz could actually defrost me I feel like all fire attacks should defrost you. Yep, it does. Melts the ice. Okay, we don't care about that. Let's go. It's off. Kills the nine tails. And I think game one is ours, my friends. This is honestly a really tough matchup for my opponent. I got so many ice resistors. I got two fire resistors. I have trick room. It's like your slush rush is, is, is neutralized. Hariyama should probably is going to come around next game. But right now... It is not looking good for my opponent at all in this matchup. Grizzly can still definitely win, but it's going to be very tough. He has to play completely optimal. All right. Everything disappears. We just go for a trick room and a protect, and that is game one in the bag. Moving smoothly in the game two with a dub. Trick room it up. Protect it up. And that is that, my friends. That is that. All right. Protect goes off. d -Gleam will not kill me. And I'll just go for a Shadow Bow and return for the game. I don't want to die to recall just in case something crazy happens. Yep, hits Porygon. The damage is adding up as well. Room goes up. And that is game one in the bag, my friends. Going into game two. All right. Fight. Go for that return. Fight. Go for that Shadow Bone. Even though we're still in Neg 1, it's still going to hurt. Return and Shadow Bone should be more than enough to take down this Coco. But Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even with Neg 1, Marak hits so friggin' hard, dude. Holy crap. All right. Coco is gone. That's that. Very nice. And we going into game two. We going right into game two, my friends. Now, one thing I don't like with this team is that Muck is a little bit of a problem. Because, obviously, we can move us with Lele. We can hit with a Raccoon But, like, Muck outspeeds us before Chicken goes up. So, Muck can knock off our Metagross. Well, we can't knock off Metagross, but we can knock off our Marowak. That I don't like. So, but I think a Flame Blitz does Oko Muck after a little bit of damage is done to him. So once we get Trick Room up, Flame Blitz kills him, I think we're good to go. I think. I got a cactus before uh, I head out today, but uh, we're going with the game two now. But Muck is a little bit of a toughie for us to get through, so put on some Goose for game two. Get our team going. And then hopefully, I think we lead Lele again so we can't think of the Hariyama and I scare Hariyama from going for Fake Out on the Porygon too. Also, Lily scares Pheromosis and stuff like that as well, so. We're gonna go same lead. Porygon and the Lele. And you're probably gonna go, like... You're gonna go Arcanine, Hariyama, Araquanade, and Sand Slash, maybe. Because Sand Slash is kind of slow outside of the hail. So, we'll do those two again. Marowak, and probably Metagross. To do big damage to... I'm oh, sorry, not Marowak, Araquanade for the uh, Arcanine. And then we resist hail as well, but free I mean we resist ice as well, but freeze dry is a problem for Araquanid. But for the most part, we should be A-OK, -okay, my friends. We should, we should, we should. 
All right, game two on the way right now. Let's see how more to adjust for game two. Like I said, it's probably going to be an Arcanine Hariyama lead. If that's the case, that is fine by me. I think I will get an attack boost in the uh, Porygon 2 if you go Hariyama and Arcanine. But if you don't, I get a free plus one. I, if, I, if, I, if I don't get an attack boost, I get a special attack boost, obviously. I think it does plus one ice beams. But that's not going to be the biggest of deals for us. Uh, yeah, I think we should be good. I think we should be good for with our with our lead for game two. Like I said, I have a very good match against this team right now. Hell's a great team, but against like so many Ice Resistors and Trick Room, it's not gonna be doing much. And Hariyama is his answer for like Porygons and stuff, but when I bring a Lele with the Porygon, there's no fake out. I kill with Psychic. I get a free trick most likely. You would need like Hariyama and I don't even know what. But regardless, guys, game two on the way right now. Let's see what my man Mort is doing to adjust. Here we go, guys. Game friggin' two. Like I said, if you guys want to see more best two out of three in the channel, let me know in the comments down below. I really want to know. Because I like having both teams. I like the way the layout looks, to be honest. We have both teams going. We got the bottom screen. We got my social media stuff over there. Uh, screen's nice and big. Let me know what you guys think. Lele Porygon. Up against Sand Slash and the Nine Sails. Well, you know what I should be doing? I should be putting the X's over the Pokemon that died. I should be doing that. I think I'm going to do that from now on as well. I think I'm going to be doing that. Let's see here. Alright, it's the double hail lead, man. It is a hail friggin' lead. Alright. So, let's see. The hail lead is there. Uh, we're definitely gonna go for a trick room. Protect. Probably just go trick room Marowak. I could do that. Yeah, let's just go trick room Marowak, man. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Oh no, I'm missing I'm missing a thing about but you guys don't care about this. Where is my number four X? Shoot. I'll figure it out later. It's whatever. Uh, 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 uh. So my mirror comes in like I was just saying. A war of LD goes up, and what does the Arachnid do? He got me good, man. He actually got me really good because that's gonna get uh trick him in your favor, and you got my Marak, which is very well done my opponent's part right there. Not bad at all. So what do I do here exactly? Oh man, I'm in trouble. Alright, I think... Sorry, I'm trying to fix, uh, fix some layout stuff right now real quick. Alright, so even though Araquity came in right now, my Porygon 2 has a special attack boost. Then I'm going to be doing Jack for me in all honesty. Trick Room is definitely up. Not this is going last. Uh, I want nothing to do with the Marowak against the Araquinid right now. So I think I'm just going to go for Return on the Araquinid. And I'm going to turn Marowak into my Araquanid. And then probably switch that out so I don't get freeze-dried. Because I'm pretty sure you go Blizzard Liquidate here. I think so you do. And then from there, sorry about that. Oh, look at that. So we're not going to get any return damage off. If you go freeze dry and read that, I'm going to cry, dude. That could be really bad for me. It's a Blizzard, all right. Eat that up all day, Araquanid. You did not care about that one bit. Not of this Porygon too, really. Hell's getting everybody, but the Nine Tails. And then from here, what do we do? What do we do? Ooh, um. Oh, there's a spider crawling around. No, that's an ant. Why is there an ant walking on my table right now? What is going on with these bugs? Sorry, Ant, you gotta go. I'm gonna kill you. You're gone, buddy. Alright, sorry about that. We have a... Return once again, gonna go for the Araquanid. And then my Araquanid is going to turn into a... Sub here. And we're gonna see if you go for Freeze Dry on him. I don't wanna reveal this. You know what? I'm not gonna reveal this just yet. I'm gonna go Protect here. 
I want damage on his Arachnid before I go for like reveal my sub and whatnot. I don't know why opponent's Arachnid's attacks are either, so I want to figure things out before we do anything crazy here. This might be located at the Porygon slot, and then Ninetales goes for the Blizzard again. Will that be enough to kill me though? That is the question. I think my Arachnid using Protect here is a waste. I should have gone for the sub. First instinct, folks. Always go with the first instinct. Alright. Yeah, poor guy's gonna barely be alive, then Blizzard kills me. After the return, of course. But, mm, that ain't going nowhere. That's a Blizzard. Should have gone for the sub, man. I'm upset. I'm upset. Alright, take it by the Porygon there. Huge kill for my opponent. The Z-move is now gone. I still have my Z-move. Which is very nice. So, Araquanid, take your hell damage. And then from here... Mm, I'm gonna bring in... I guess I gotta bring in Lele. I actually don't have to. Well, I guess I do gotta bring in Lele. Yeah, I think I do gotta bring in Lele. You still have the terrain up. I mean, you still have the Roar Bell up as well. Lele's gonna come in right now. Oh, I lost my Porygon, correct? Yeah, Porygon's gone. Sorry, guys. For this game, Porygon is gone. You still have all your mons. All right. A war bell is still up, correct? You have for two more turns. All right. Let's T-bolt the Araquanid. And then my Araquanid is going to... 85, 80. Look at it's a bit stronger. Kind of want HP back, so I'm going to leech at the... Uh, mm, never mind. I'm going to look at the Nine Tails. Yeah. I want the HP, though. That's all right. That's all right. We'll wait for the Z moves to go away. I win the speed tie or I'm actually slower. That's some nice damage on that nine tails. Very good. Look at the it goes off on my Lele. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Oh yeah, it's damage and a half. T Bell goes off on his Araquidim. Oh, he's so close. And then this scene. Oh, we get the para. Talented para right there. Life of damage on that Lele. I'm gonna see a blizzard go off. No, it's a freeze on my Araquidim. Can I live it? Oh yeah, we're fine. Good, good, good. Nobody dying just yet. Nobody dying just yet. So the record is definitely gonna go first now. Hmm. So if he gets full, if he doesn't get fully powered, I lose Lele. If he does, I kill him. So I'm gonna psychic the Nine Tails, and I'm going to no 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 no. Psychic the Araquanid slot, and then hit the Nine Tails with Liquidate like again because Chicken goes away. Yeah, I do. We, we gotta make sure we get a kill. We gotta make sure we get a kill. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're damn poor. We gone. Ugh. We're gonna lose Lele soon. Oh man. Hmm. Right, not this is gone. Maybe not. Arcanine comes in. I'm gonna get a free liquidate on that slot right there. Imagine for sub how much better shape I'd be in right now, guys. Just imagine how much better shape I'd be in. All right, he is fully paralyzed. We do get the sound right there. It's gonna be the end of his Araquanid. And that's gonna be some big damage here. Even though Roar Bell's up, it's gonna hurt really bad. Defense drops, and we're gonna kill that Araquanid right now. His Araquanid is gone, and I'm gonna die to my own, uh, my own life orb. Yeah. I'm gone. All right. Do this. And do this. All right. Sorry, put that there. There we go. Oh, man. Merrick's going to come in. At least we need to get big damage. And there's a wreck when it is gone as well. Sorry, guys. So we did manage to get big damage there. Uh... Wasn't amazing damage though. Oh wait, why is the X behind the Araquanid? What the heck is that? Why is that X behind him? All right, tail goes right back up. You reset your hair, which is good for you. That's really weird. Why is Araquanid? Why is the X in front of the Araquanid? That's gonna bother me. Oh, I know why. Cause this mod was not included. And I dragged it down. There we go. All right, that's good enough. 
Alright, let's see here. Trick room is up for one more turn. No, it's gone. Marrick is going to be the saving grace here. Marrick is going to be the saving grace here. Alright. He's probably going to go protect the War Veil. So what I'm going to do is Shadow Bone the Nine Tails. And then my record is going to go for a sub. If we do that, Hale's going to kill me. So there's really no point. Uh, protect. Just in case it goes freeze dry and not a roar veil. So Arcanine's went the offensive. Let's see if Snarl maybe. Blizzard goes off and gonna do Jack to my Arachnid, obviously. So I'm glad I got protect here. Wow. I'm surprised you didn't go roar veil again. Max gonna eat that up all day. Snarl does go off. You do have the snarl. I'm way too, but I don't care about my special attack going down. But it is some nice 30 damage each turn. Ooh, all right, Shadow Bone's gonna kill that nine sails. No war veil for you, my friends. And then it comes down to can I kill the uh, what else do you have? What else do you have? Whoops, that's the wrong Pokemon. I'm sorry. What else do you have? Can I do this? You have the Arcanine and the Sand Slash. I don't know if I can do this, man. I don't know if I could do this. Alright, let's Shadow Bus Boomerang. You know, let's just get aggressive. Flare Bus Sand Slash. And then we're gonna go for a Liquidate on the Arcanine. Now there's a dog down here. I don't know what's going on today, guys. Hello. Hello, pup. Why are you scared? You trash. There she goes. Alright. Uh. I don't know, man. It comes down to the Sand Slash Protect or not. Does Sand Slash go for Protect or I just lose this game right now? He doesn't have Grand DMZ. Thank God. All right. As Crash goes off, he's going for the F word. Oh, no. Hang in there, Marowak. Please do not. Do not, Marowak. Do not, Marowak. Oh, he forgot about my Lightning Rod. Oh, no. My opponent forgot about my Lightning, my lightning Rod. Oh, I think he just messed up. That's going to kill the Sand Slash. Oh man, or wanted that to be, or me that, or he wanted to kill him. Sand Slash goes down, and I think Arcanine's gonna follow suit. Oh, that last turn, that last turn of events. Oh my goodness, my man. We do pick up the game, but it was a little, it was a little sloppy. We do get the win there. My man more forgot or just wanted the Isaac to kill or something. I don't know. Either way, we do get the win, guys. So thank you for watching. As always, I am Mr. Town. You're the glorious Town Squad. If you enjoyed this video, show someone to like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any competitive Pokemon content, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you next time.